Alright guys, so before I start this video, can you guys comment video suggestions down below? Anything you guys want to see. You know, I don't want to be making a bunch of videos that you guys just don't want to see. That I'm just throwing out there just to make a video. If you guys want to see any reviews, you know, Arsenal videos, anything like that. More unboxings. I got LTB coming next week um, or the week after. So if you guys want to see any different videos that I'm making now, like if you don't like the videos or whatever I'm making now, comment below video suggestions that you guys want to see. Um, but anyways, let's get into the unboxing. Thanks for watching. What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Them Fish and I got another fishing unboxing, unbagging kind of deal. Um, the Gander Mountain near me is having a huge sale, like everything is like 60% off, 50-60% off. Um, so I went up there and I picked up a few things that I needed, um, like really, really bad, um, then a few other things. But I mean like I was getting these jigs, like I got a bunch of jigs and some power bait and stuff for like $1.25. Um, the receipt is if you can see that I don't know if you can but if you can see that um, everything it was 37 bucks for all of this which would normally be between 40 50 and 60 dollars for all this stuff so I got a, a lot of discounts I just want to show you guys what I got hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching just to start it off I got two Rapala crankbaits um, it, the, the normal price of these were $7.49 and I got them for about three bucks. Um, so the first bait I got was a DT6. I'll take it out. It obviously dives to six feet. Um, Rapala's got some great baits out. I love the their crankbaits. Um, the DT6, um, I got these crankbaits mainly for the lake and for you know other places that I go to fish that are deep. Um, and then I got this DT10 that was the same price um, <clears throat> in like a bluegill pattern so that's a pretty sweet uh, looking crankbait there both of those my crankbait arsenal is really becoming you know it's really coming to a becoming a crankbait arsenal I mean it's not, I'm trying to get rid of all the older baits and put in some of the newer baits so that's what I'm doing those two baits are gonna help me out okay so the next baits I got I got, let's just go to the jigs. So I got six packs of jigs. Um, I lost a few jigs this summer, not a whole lot, but uh, I wanted to stock up on the jigs. I mean, they were they were three three ninety nine. dollars I got them for like $1.25 a piece. So they were super cheap. Um, but I got two swim jigs there. Um, I got one in 5 16 ounce and one in 3 8 ounce. I'll take it one of them out and show you. This is the 5 16 ounce one. And uh, this color really, really worked for me this year. And that's like a like a shad, or not a shad, like a perch slash bluegill bait fish color. And then I'll go ahead and just take this one out. This one's like more like a shad um, shiner kind of thing. So as you can see there, just a nice, uh, that one's in 3 16 ounce. That's pretty sweet swim jig there. Um, but then I got, let's see here, I got one football hud jig. This is in half ounce. Um, and then I got three of the Hack Attack jigs. Um, two and half ounce, one and three eighth ounce. So there's one, there's one, and there's one. So I did stock up on the jigs for this year. Um, probably gonna be getting more, but uh, for right now, that's what I got. The only pack of finesse worms that they had, um, I just went ahead and picked them up because it was the last pack. They had a pair, pack of black ones. These are the zoom finesse worms in like four and a half inches. Um, so that's them right there. Another great bait for uh, drop shotting. Uh, the creeks around me. Um, the finesse worms and oil is always getting those, so if I uh, have a chance, I always pick them up. Um, again, the Zoom, I uh, got the smaller size of the flukes for the lake and the rivers. Um, the smaller size worked a little bit better last year in the rivers than the bigger size one. Uh, it was just easier for the fish to eat. Not saying the big ones won't work, but the smaller ones. These are like in three inches, three to four inches. So that's a really, really small one. Um, that can work as a trailer. Um, I have some small hooks, uh, some small worm hooks that I can use to Texas rig that. That work really well. 
And then these right here, these are uh, the Swimbait Super Fluke Juniors in Albino. So I want to get a, these are for like chatterbaits, swim jigs, um, regular jig trailers, um, stuff like that. You can Texas rig this anyways. That would work too. But uh, yeah, that's the swim bait. The little ones like that are good uh, chatterbait trailers, good swim jig, swim jig trailers, um, everything like that. And they were only like two bucks. So that was good. Now the thing that really uh, I liked was the Berkeley Havoc were a dollar. They were like a dollar five or whatever. So I got two packs of craw fatties, um, one pack in smoky green pumpkin, and then a pack in black blue silver fleck I'll go ahead and take one of these out and show you guys the Havoc uh, these are really good for Texas rigging you know for the small water around me dragging them along the bottom of the lake um, you know muddy water that's why I got the like the darker blue that's a good jig trailer you can Texas rig that you can punch this through mats grass anything like that so that's why I picked these up and so you can't beat that a dollar five for a pack of baits is just insane um, so again, I picked up two packs of those, and then I picked up, I'm going to start swim bait fishing this year, uh, I'm going to try to catch my PB this year, um, in the 2017 season, that's going to be my goal, but, uh, I got a pack of the Rib Shad, this is in four and a half inch, um, these were like two bucks, so I picked a pack of these up, I'll go ahead and show you. So that's a pretty sweet looking swim bait there. That'll catch me some big fish for sure. For sure. So I got that. You know, this will work in the ponds around me. Any lake I go to, um, you know, it might work in Lake Erie. It, uh, you know, it might work in the river. I don't think it's too big to work in the river. Um, so definitely going to be putting that to use. And then. Um, I did. I used these a bunch. I used these all up last year. These are um, the 10-inch Power Worm in motor oil. So I wanted to pick another pack of these up, um, and luckily it was the only one that was there. So that's just a big 10-inch worm. Uh, I like Texas ring net, throwing that around beds and stuff like that. I always used to catch fish um, on that. So that was that. Got a really strong scent too. So that was a $37 um, unboxing. Uh, I got two crankbaits, six jigs, and a bunch of soft plastics. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting on the videos. And we'll see you guys next time.